I think a second thing that really is a very central, uh, I, I think, to um, keep in mind as we think about how a policy can be used to create a, a, a better environment for fundamental rights and our ability as individual citizens to exercise those rights is to always keep in mind that uh, in a European Union uh, of almost half a billion citizens, we live in irreducibly diverse and disputatious societies, and we will often disagree on matters of fact, um, on uh, matters of what's right, what is good, what is bad, and using judgments as to uh, uh, factuality, as to righteousness, as to what is good and what is bad, to regulate expression and media in collectively binding ways through media policy are thus extraordinarily risky. Uh, they're risky from a principled point of view in the sense that it comes a, a very considerable danger of really fundamentally eroding um, the, the rights of other citizens, but it also comes with practical challenges in the sense that um, when we don't agree on what's right for our societies um, and uh, one group imposed their views on others, it'll generate a backlash. Um, and I think there are very few power holders in Europe these days um, who believe that the European Union desperately needs more populist backlash um, against uh, uh, the political class.